Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Hit the Road, where we are trying to figure out a way to help our friend the Bigfoot bodyguard here, um, as Max continues to open and close this sliding door that squeaks. So, a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments, and I think I might be on some sort of track with this now from your hints and things. There's a couple of ideas I want to try out. You guys seem to be hinting that there's actually something I've already got in my inventory which could help out, but also... Um, I've been given an idea by Daredevil to maybe go to the carnival and look to see if there's any clown shoes or anything lying around which could potentially fit the Bigfoot's rather large feet and that's not a bad shout actually. So I don't know whether all of these things are linked or whether they're separate puzzles but I'm going to check my invent first. I believe, didn't we, I think we did some of this last time but maybe there's an item that I didn't use. So we're going to try just using pretty much everything we can, starting with Max. I don't think he'd want that. No, okay. <clears throat> I think we tried that. But... I don't think he'd want that. No, okay. We're going to brute force it. But we still haven't really used this thing, have we? No, we did. We put it on the end of the... Stop. What's up? I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention. Yeah, I knew that. Sorry, I clicked the wrong place. I don't think he'd want that. Right, no, so we can't, like, magnetise his feet or anything, which is one weird idea that I had. Um, we still haven't found a use for this yet. No, Stop. don't... <laughs> What's up? I need to calm Only down my clicking. Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. I know, I know. Do, do you I want this... I don't think he'd want rope? that. No. Uh, do you want this spanner thing? Maybe we can, like... Maybe that's some screws on your feet. I don't think he'd want that. No, okay. Uh, do you want this key? Here. He does. Oh, it's like a file. Ooh. Ah, this is great. <laughs> really great. I owe you guys. Right, so it's like like one of those. Um, what's the word for it? I can't think what we call it here, like it's, it's, I think it's a foot file we call it here. So it's one of those which is attached to the key, so that's what, now Fighting Kitchen's comment about, um, good job getting the key, you'll need it but not for the key makes sense. So, can we now go in? Does he, does he let us use this now? I guess we could try it on. Or is he going to have something else for us to do first, which is sometimes mm. the case with these games. Oh my god. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. Oh yes, okay, we're in. Look at that. That's that's a work of art, that isn't it? Looks like something important's happening. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Mm. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. <laughs> well, that's that done. <laughs> Okay, we're in. Uh, I was going to say I don't hear any music, but it's started. Okay. Look at this. This is great. Hello. What are you eating there? A steak? He looks happy in a gluttonous kind of way. Yeah. Can we... Oh, no. We can't talk to him. Okay. Uh, can we look at this? What's this? Like a punch or something? What Pineapple choreography? Punch? Wait, are we looking at... <clears throat> are we looking at that or... Oh, look, they've got he bands and everything. In a cheery sort of way. We do seem to be able to He's talk to... not my type. <laughs> we do seem to be able to talk to this Bigfoot, though. Excuse me, sir. Yes? 
Uh... Didn't we meet last summer in Cancun? I don't think so. I was hanging upside down in a block of ice last summer. Really? How'd that happen? Oh, the usual. I was strolling in the Andes, minding my own business, when some idiot mountain climber comes along and yells, Hey, it's the abominable snowman. Uh, Next thing I know, there's an avalanche, and I'm covered in 20 feet of snow. When I wake up, I'm hanging upside down in an ice block. It's someplace called the Mystery Box. Ah, so that's where he's come from. Did you have any mystic visions while you were hanging upside down for all those years? Well, I did see a mole guy in a purple jogging suit. <laughs> We've met him. Did you have any mystic okay. visions while you were hanging upside down for all those years? Well, I did see a mole guy. So it in a seems like there's two once. things you can say on each of these options. You are the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Ah. You are the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. Oh no, okay, there's only seen. one on that one. Fair enough. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Okay, Bruno. Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top-secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Oh, is he? Of course. How silly of me to forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. We knew that because we're a Bigfoot. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh. She's helping Bruno contact the alien. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. You haven't run into the Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. Oh, you do? He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snark Time. Wait, he's an alien? We'll keep that in mind. Is he an alien? <laughs> what? We'll catch you later. I like how Max Figure is now... Figure of speech. <laughs> Figure of speech. I like how Max is now sort of taking over the, the questioning he of He looks things. spooky in a cheery sort of Can way. Can we, like, pick any of this kind of stuff up on the table? Uh, oh, wait, what's he's that? He's not my type. No, okay. Doesn't look like it. The music's ended. And I think they're playing the same song again, okay. As you do. Uh, <coughs> right, let's just check there's nothing over this way. No, there's not, okay. Did look like there was a door off to the left here. Hello. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. Yeah, and we can talk to her as well. Hi. Hey baby, what's your sign? <laughs> Property of Vanuatu. Vanuahu? Vanuatu. The Bigfoot chief. The guy who just gave that speech. Oh, yeah, him. My husband. Uh oh. Don't sweat it, Junior. If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot's made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Not really. What? <laughs> All right. What do you think about the pressing Bigfoot issues of the day? God, I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that. <laughs> Unexpected <laughs> line of the day. My husband's speech. Pull together. Embrace change. Avoid extinction. Yeah, that last one and sounds particularly work, important. All the humans. Uh, well, maybe don't eat all the humans. It must be a hoot being married to our commander in chief. Oh, it's not that great. No? I'm sure, you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday, I was telling my therapist, Nancy. Nancy, sometimes it's so lonely at the top. And then she said, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Wabada, wabada, wabada. Bow, bow, bow. And I said, ubada, ubada, ubada. Ubada, ubada, ubada. What? And then she said, yada, yada, yada. Oh, what on earth? Of course, I just said, yib, yib, yib. Well, as you would, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Right. Blah blah blah. Yip yip yip. Of course. Blah blah blah. So she said, yada yada yada. Bow bow bow. Blah blah blah. And I said, uh, How long is this gonna go? Yada, is, yada. Can we interrupt it? And have you seen? Yeah, Bruno? we can. <laughs> okay. Bruno. Why, me and Mr. V have known little Bruno since he was knee high to a pig. Really? The salt of the earth, Bruno is. Nicest, most generous Bigfoot you'll he ever He did seem meet. nice when we met him briefly. Dumb as a post, of course. <laughs> Why, just the other day, I was talking to my manicurist, Kimmy, and I said, Oh, no. Kimmy, that Bruno has got to be the dumbest creature to ever walk the surface of the planet. Then she had the nerve to say, What would a wobble All right, okay, yeah. <laughs> we know where this is going. <laughs> Trixie, nice girl, wonderful human being. 
Complete fashion victim, of course, but <laughs> so pleasant. Just last week, I was talking to Katie, my color consultant, and I said, Katie, that Trixie girl wouldn't know a burn news from a sorority. Seems to know a lot of people. Depended on it. And then she said, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah right. Carry on. <laughs> sneaking around, have you? Internationally renowned country western superstar Conway That's the one, Thomas. yes. I've got all his albums. You have? He's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That's a surprise. I'd say he's the most gifted entertainer of the 20th well, century. I, I don't think I would agree with he's that. He's an immoral cretin, of course, but boy, can he <laughs> He did I put on a good show. I chiropractor Karen just last month, and I said, Karen, that despicable Conroy Bobbers sure has got a pretty voice. Then she had the nerve to say... Oogly, oogly, oogly. <laughs> right. Yeah. See you later. Don't be a stranger. Oh, yeah. We'll be we'll be back to talk soon. Don't worry. I wonder if they'll play Yellow River. <laughs> let's let's um. We can I've talk to the them. Hard way, never to talk to a band while they're jamming. Oh no, we can't. Okay, fine. Uh, right. So can we go through to here, maybe? Can we? Can we go in here? Stop. Oh. Sorry, hon. Only Yeti elders are allowed in the pool area. Ah, how do we become a Yeti Elder? Uh, can we like use something? I can't use these things together. No. How do we become a Yeti Elder? What makes a Yeti Elder? You, what makes a Yeti Elder? He doesn't seem to know. Uh, hmm. Okay then. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. So we need... I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Stop! Any Sorry, clues? Hon. Only Yeti elders are allowed in the pool area. So how do we become a Yeti elder? So we look too young, maybe? So do we need... I don't know, do we need, like, another costume? Damn, just when I thought we'd made a load of progress, <laughs> we've now ended up sort of... What choreography? This is brilliant. Can we? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. One does not cut in on a Bigfoot. Okay. Uh, can we? We can talk to this one now. Hello. So, fellow smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've spent the last eight years manacled to a dunking booth. Ah, it's if that one. If his girlfriend hadn't rescued me, I'd still be there. He was the one from the golf place, right? So, fellow smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've so now we sort of know where, <coughs> sorry, where most of these guys have come from then. If his girlfriend hadn't rescued me, I'd still be there. Yeah, I can imagine. Your appetite's bigger than mine. <laughs> hey man, if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet, you'd be scarfing down everything in sight too, dude. Could be right. Could very well be right. Uh... So where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? <laughs> Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. I don't? Dude, are you like having an <laughs> argument with your belly button? Uh... Yeah. No. no, maybe. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? bear? What was that? Gas. <laughs> Gas. Have you heard from Trixie? I guess she's hiding out with Bruno. Could be. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? Is he the guy that coined the phrase, Hang Ten? No, he's a country western star going berserk. Ooh, heinous. I'm guessing that's a no then. I'll let you get back to your food. Right, so maybe we Power, can... Dude. <clears throat> See you later. Maybe we can, um... I don't think we did the duck option on this guy or the... The, uh, the chief's wife, did we? A third shadow is nine. What are you talking about? Sorry, must have eaten some bad berries. What do you want? Uh, nothing we can we'll ask there. Figure speech. Oh, most exalted mother of all Bigfoots. Yes? Uh, nothing about the village elders Adieu. there either. Don't be a stranger. How do we become a, how do we become a Bigfoot elder? There must be another puzzle in play here, right? So that's interesting. Uh, maybe the guy outside can help us? Uh, do you know anything about uh, Bigfoot Elders and how I can become one? Join the party. 
If it's all the same to you, I think I'll just stay out here and file my coins. If, if that's what you want to do, then, you know, you go ahead and do that. That's that's fine by me. Um, no, okay, so, hmm. Does, it, does this get taken off if we leave? Yes, it does. I won't be seen in this ridiculous state. Okay, but we can leave, so maybe we do need something from somewhere else then. Maybe there's an item like we need so notice. we could amend the suit or something. I don't know. Uh, okay then, guys. Can we just head in or do we need Stop. to... Stop. Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Okay. Right, let's head out. Stop doing that. Right, so, guys, that is where we'll leave it for this one then. Um... We'll have to, I guess, find something else to make ourselves look like a Bigfoot Elder. I honestly don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We've made progress in this one nonetheless, but there's still obviously more to do. But that does it for this episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who would like to see it. And helps us grow this little point and click community that we're putting together here. And I'll see you all next time.